It is a house of faith, a city landmark 181 years with a membership of who is who. So that's his uh, here I stand. Pastor Heath Lambert says the decision to downsize First Baptist Church was difficult. To stand up and say uh, that the room where you were baptized or the room where you went to Sunday school, uh, that's not going to exist anymore. I anticipated that to be a very, very painful decision for the church to hear about. Lambert, now in his second year as senior pastor, says the problem is the church can no longer afford to maintain its sprawling downtown campus. Nobody can afford uh, what it takes to keep this thing up, and it's, it really is killing us. He says they're now spending about $5 million a year on building maintenance. I've had people coming up to me and hugging me and crying and saying they are so excited. The church is selling nine of its 10 city blocks. The phone started ringing real quick uh, when we made the announcement. Going from over 1 million square feet to just under 200,000. The church is keeping this building. It's being saved and after extensive renovation, it will become the main worship space. In fact, this entire area is being called the Hobson Block. Lambert is embracing his critics as well as supporters. Part of the goal of this is to be a better neighbor to downtown Jacksonville. He says the future of the church includes suburban campuses like their Nocatee campus. We want to make ministry investments in smaller footprints across the city. One way for us to be a better neighbor downtown uh, is to work with the city and other folks on uh, having people on this property who can help it thrive and be a part of the resurgence of downtown Jacksonville.